What's up guys? Today we're gonna check out some BMW 135 coding and tuning. Stay tuned. Before we get too far into it, there's lots of apps you can do this with, but we're gonna talk about on Carly, which is our coding app, and we're also using MHD tuning. So getting into the coding, now we're gonna hop onto our Carly app here and we're gonna connect it to the car. And then hit connect. The Carly app automatically finds the dongle, automatically connects, checks your car, does like a an OBD scan, makes sure everything's working right. Then we click back. Mm, hold still phone. Right. So we click back and then we can go to customize, unlock hidden features, check coding possibilities. And once this goes through, you'll see like a list of all the ECUs that the car has that are able to code. And we'll go through some of the, some of the things that I've changed and why. So you can see my car has nine ECUs that it says are compatible. Right. And then in here you can see all the different ECUs that I'm able to modify. So like for example, if we jump into CAS, it'll say read CAS, it goes through, it'll automatically do a backup so that if you need to revert to stock, you can revert your car back to the original coding. Then you jump in here and like my car has comfort access. So when I get in the car, I don't need to put my key in the ignition and just keep it in my pocket and I can start my car. One thing that I added that's not standard on USDM cars is the comfort folding side mirrors. So most BMWs have this button here that allows you to fold your mirrors in, right? So they've got the functionality, but it doesn't automatically do it, whereas a lot of the German and uh, European delivered cars automatically do that. So if you flip, turn this one on, which it's already on because I've already done this, and then you can adjust how long. So now when I lock my car, it automatically folds my mirrors. So you see here. So then when we unlock, just like that, right? So lots of neat features here. Another one that I utilized was power windows after ignition. So when I shut my car off, normally your windows would die. But like, let's just say you're out and about and you parked your car and after you turned your car completely off, you decided that you probably shouldn't leave your windows down. You can still function your window switches for two minutes after the car shuts off. Some other neat ones, if we jump into iDrive here, everybody loves that annoying, when you first start your car, you have to hit your iDrive controller to cancel out the safety warning. So things like shutting off the legal disclaimer, nice convenient feature. But like when you go to backup, if that legal disclaimer pops up and blocks your backup camera or your parking sensors, it, it can be inconvenient, so we can knock the legal disclaimer off. In the FRM, which is uh, basically lighting and your heat, you can do all kinds of neat stuff here. Like my mirrors, um, I don't know how we would show you this right now, but I have electrochromatic mirrors, so when there's uh, somebody's bright lights behind me, the mirrors will automatically tint themselves so that it's not shining so bright in the car. Turn features like that on or off. There may be hidden features on other cars that are just not turned on from the factory, but the hardware exists. Let's get away from Carly here. We'll go ahead and disconnect. And now, now we're gonna check out some tuning options and we'll do a couple, we'll change some settings. We'll look at what I've got done to my car at least on the digital side here, just the, the flash tuning side. The actual hardware itself, we can talk about it another time in more detail, but I have a downpipe and, uh, and a K&N drop-in filter. Very, very simple, simple setup. But with that simple setup and a flash tune, the car runs entirely different. So let's get into our tuning app. With the tuning, we'll get into doing the tuning in a second, but the tuning, 
I am on a stage two, and within the tuning stage two level, there's all kinds of different options you have. So we'll look at it here in a sec, where you can see, you can adjust things like burble, throttle map, throttle mapping, power by gear, lots of different settings, so let's check it out. For the tuning app, you're gonna need this K plus decan cable, and basically what this is, that plugs into OBD, and then on the other end, it's a USB plug, and then you're also gonna need this. This is um, USB to micro USB, if we get to focus, right? And that micro USB plugs into the Android phone I have. So Carly's both Android and iPhone, whereas the MHD tuning is only Android. Um, had I tuned, had I tuned my car before I got that coding app, I would have bought it for Android. So both my coding and tuning could be done for my Android phone, but I didn't at the time. So I've got Carly on my iPhone, and I've got flash tuning on my on this Android device. So I just literally I went. And I bought a ultra cheap, oh, where is it? Oh, it's already out. I bought this ultra cheap Samsung, I think it's called an Orbit J3. Really, really cheap. I think it was like 30, 40 bucks at Walmart to allow me to do my tuning. So just like we did with the Bluetooth dongle for Carly, we're gonna plug this guy into the OBD port you see it lights up there, connected. Then we're gonna take this end and we're gonna plug it into our Android phone. And when you go to do these tunings, you want your car to be in ignition on. So then when you set your car up, it'll automatically load MHD because it picks up 5%, that's a little low, but we'll see. So it'll automatically pick up that you're plugged into the car and that the car is running. And then we're going to click flash and MHD map. So we are stage two and in Ohio where I live, we can get 93. So we're going to do 93 octane. My car is a dual clutch transmission and it'll communicate with the DME here. And then what we're going to look at is our exhaust and other options. I've turned the exhaust burble on. We can do cold start noise reduction, which is super nice if you live in like an apartment or a townhome and you start work early. Your neighbors probably love your noisy BMW screaming at them in the morning. So if you have that issue, you can do cold start noise reduction. You don't get the you don't get the cold start revs. You can deactivate the kick down switch, which is the little switch that's the button when you push your pedal all the way to your throttle pedal all the way to the floor. But the problem with doing this one is if you deactivate the kick down switch, you can't do launch control. So you can set up limit power by gear, so when you turn that on, you can see I've played with it before where I have only 30% throttle in first gear, so if you are, let's say, making 600 horsepower, you can set up power by gear where you're able to control wheel spin just by simply not letting the car have all its power. So but the thing we're gonna change and we're gonna do a little video clip on is the exhaust burble here. So you can see I've got the aggressiveness, which is how hard it burbles, set to OEM or relatively stock sounding. We don't want it to be too aggressive, but for kicks and giggles here in a second, we're gonna go full aggressive and see what it sounds like. The other neat thing about this option is you can set it up to where um, in sport mode, you get a burble, so, but you don't get pops in bass mode. Let's go ahead and write this map. This is, um, all right, the car's already been tuned. This will only take like two minutes, but if you're flashing for your first time, ooh, check out this fat Porsche. That's sick. If you're flashing for the first time, it's highly recommended that you have a trickle charger connected to your battery because it takes 30 minutes and if your battery or something like that for example dies while you're flashing you could totally brick your ecu you don't want that it's probably also not smart to do this with five percent battery but hope we get lucky when you're flashing your car is going to do all kinds of crazy stuff malfunction this malfunction that but at the end of it all it clears all the codes and everything's back to normal and it's all good and once it's done here, we'll go cruise around for a second and uh, have a buddy or someone stand outside the car and get some video clips of the pops. It's aggressively loud, <laughs> really hilarious. 
and then we'll we'll hop back to the stock burble settings or the settings that I like to run and you'll get to check it out. So you can see right now it's about done. It just cleared the codes. So then it requests that you shut the car off. Let's go check it out and see how it sounds. So now we've got it set on the hard burbles, which is an extremely aggressive sound. But you can see with sport mode turned off, we get no, no burbles, none whatsoever. Once we get out of this park here and away from all these people, so we don't freak anybody out too much, we'll go ahead and click sport mode on and you'll hear some noise. In fact, we're close enough. Let's try it now. All right. It's so loud. So but now you can see sport mode's on. You'll get some very, very aggressive pops. You ready? It's way too much. So here we've got sport mode turned off. You can tell that there's no aggressive popping of any sort. Now I'm gonna hit the sport mode button. You ready? Here it is. settings so it sounds much more mellow and natural sounding so here have a listen it might be hard to tell on camera because the mic will level everything out but there's a massive difference in how loud it burbles and pops and bangs. Hopefully you'll be able to tell on camera. We'll check it out in a little bit. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let's close the video out with the launch control. So to do launch control, we put it in the first level of traction control off. We put it in sport mode, manual, and first gear. And then I'm gonna hold the brake and floor the throttle. You see the flag and away we go. down on the streets of Mexico. Later guys.